This is part two of a three-part series with John White and Jason Himmelstein showing you how to create SQL Azure databases, then using the new Microsoft Flow, and finally using Power BI to visualization on Twitter Analytics. Hi, John. How you doing, Jason? I'm all right. It feels like it's been like all of 45 seconds since we closed out the last <laughs> video and started the next one. It's how it is. <laughs> so the, the next thing we want to do here, now that we have a SQL Azure database that is ready to go, it already has all the columns that we want in it, um, the way that all of this you know, stuff came about is that Microsoft on uh, April 29th released the preview for Microsoft Flow. So you see this on the screen. This is really nifty stuff that we started uh, really digging into and, and wanted to share with you. So. Yeah, it's it's it, it's a blast. It's a real. It's if you're if you're familiar with uh, if this then that if and uh, and uh, what's the I can't think Zapier. of the other one. Yeah, Zapier. Uh, it's a similar concept. It lets you glue things together from all over the cloud, um, and it's a real easy way to get simple database jobs uh, scheduled and uh, all running on 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 a trigger in this case a, a twitter uh, a, a tweet being posted with a that matches a particular search criteria yeah so uh you know i started playing with this against uh you know sharepoint online pumping some data, Twitter data in there. So there are a bunch of templates already here. Uh, you can click see more if you wanted to. But uh, for what we're doing, we're actually going to play with, uh, with this going against uh, SQL Azure databases. Uh, so what I want to do is the first thing I need to do is actually make a connection to that new database. John. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I'm going to go ahead and go up here to the people I, to the person icon. I don't have a picture set or anything. But I'm going to go to my connections here. Um, and here you can see I already have a couple of different, uh, you know, Twitter handles that I'm uh, using, so I can uh, I not love get it. some rate limiting. I uh, love angry rambling. <laughs> yeah, you like that one? We'll yeah, talk yeah. about that offline. Uh, that, that's my <laughs> locked down when I'm really angry. I tweet from uh, that only a few people have access to. Um, <laughs> yes, that, that's the darker side of Jason. Uh, so don't don't go trying to look at lockdown. Um, but uh, I might give you access, John. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> but uh, so SharePoint Online I have as a connection, and I also have OneDrive for Business. But what I need to do now is actually create a connection for SQL Azure databases. Uh, so I'll click Add, and then I can come down here and find uh, here's Microsoft SQL Azure, uh, Boom. and click here. So I need a connection string. Um, so what is a connection string, John? Do you want to talk about what a connection string is for a second? Connection strings have been all uh, around forever and ever and ever. And when you have, when you basically need to make a connection to a backend database, you're going to use a uh, connection string, and they come in all sorts of flavors and forms. This is one of the forms. Yeah, if you do, uh, if if you uh, do a search online for connection strings, there are sites that are dedicated to them. Uh, this is a particularly useful connection string for SQL Azure, so that's why we're using it. <laughs> but it right, does embed so, credentials uh, in, yeah. in, in this particular case. So we're, we're going to use a, a SQL uh, credential, not a, not a, uh, an Azure Active Directory uh, credential. Uh, you could use one if you've got your um, database uh, configured for Azure Active Directory authentication. They don't come configured that way by default, and we're just going the simple route with, uh, with a basic SQL authentication. That's, so that's why the string has uh, creds. Yeah, so for anybody who is wondering, no, my password is not 6Xs. Uh, it might be Watson. It's only five. You never know. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, that's true. Uh, it may be Watson. That's six characters. You know, I, I, I only say that because I see the adorable dog sleeping in the background yes. there, John. Uh, but so it's, I'm going to paste in my connection string here. Uh, and one of the wonderful things that they're doing uh, with this is obfuscating it from the screen. So I don't actually have to hide it from you. They're doing it for me. Uh, and then I can click Create, and create Connection going to go off and it's going to make that attempt and uh, see if it works. So now I have that Boom. and I can go in and see if it's working. I am connected uh, from the owner. No, I don't want to save a password. I'm <laughs> using LastPass there. Um, <laughs> and it tells me that it's connected uh, and that it's been created. So now I have my SQL Azure connection. You're good to go, so sir. I am ready. I am ready to create a flow. So I'm going to go and click my flows. And uh, I'm going to create a new flow. So here is my SharePoint uh, tweets flow. And you can see that that has run in that little icon there. Uh, let's me go in and take a look. And here I can take a look and see uh, the last time this logic flow ran for my SharePoint tweets. 
Uh, and it's been very successful. You know, John mm -hmm. has had some failures on some. It's part of why we're using my account right now. He uh, went off and tried to see what the, the limit was. And John, uh, what was it? I like found 8, the limit. 8,000? Yeah, 8,000 in a second. About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes, yeah. 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 So, uh, to, um, to, to test this out, I, I basically went out to Twitter, found out what was trending, and then plugged that in and started populating a table. That's a great way to acquire data. There you go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to create a new flow. And if you haven't created a new flow before, uh, very, very straightforward and simple. Um, there are some templates here, but I'm going to start from scratch. Um, and I'm going to say, you know what, I want to come down here and I want to find, uh, not from a SharePoint online, uh, but I actually want to come in and... Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Let's say when a new so, tweet And that's appears. the important thing to note here is these are, um, these are trigger events, and that's a different set of lists than the basic actions. So... Yeah. Um, you don't have to schedule this to go poll every five minutes or ten minutes. This is going to fire whenever a new tweet gets posted that meets this criteria. Yeah. So uh, for the purposes of this, we're actually uh, creating some dashboards uh, for uh, some of our friends who are going to be a part of the, uh, the future of SharePoint launch out in San Francisco on May the 4th. Uh, so for this one, we're going to call this the uh, – uh, it's actually future, future of SharePoint. Yeah. Of SharePoint. And That's I it. could include the hashtag, uh, but I don't need to in this particular situation. Uh, and now I need to say which connection do I want to use. I can use my angry rambling, or I can use my SharePoint Elhorn Twitter handle, handle for this. Um, I'm going to use angry rambling because uh, it hasn't been used in a while. Um, so now I'm connected, and it's going to do a query on that text. Now, you know, I actually want to use uh, SharePoint Elhorn for this because uh, – that's the one that's looking for uh, future of SharePoint and is going to get the most uh, Twitter action uh, out. So I'm going to go off and, uh, and add an action here. So I hit my little plus sign and I come down to add an action. Um, I don't need to add a condition because I'm not doing any conditional stuff. I actually want to go off and pump this into an Azure SQL database. So in this situation, I'm going to scroll all the way down and look for a place to add this to. Uh, and I want to click on load more because there's more stuff behind here. Uh, and when I scroll down, I'm looking for, hey, here we go. So I want to insert a row into SQL Azure. Beautiful. And it's going to load up here. It's inserting, insert a row, loading, loading. And now I come in, and it shows me that I am uh, connected to SQL Azure. I could choose to change the connection, but that's where I want to be connected to. I'm going to look for a table. And I should only have two tables in here. Oh, I have one. There we go. So I have dbo.twitter. Uh -huh. I used my connection string. I didn't connect just to the server. I actually connected all the way down to the database level. Database, that's right. Yeah. And now in here, uh, you can see it populated. Uh, though if, if you watched our previous video, we created, um, using this, uh, these columns, right? That's right. Uh, using our create script, we created those columns. Um, so here they are. So one quite, of the things quite, I can quite do. Quite the coincidence that they all line up with what we get as output from the I'm Twitter. I'm telling you, John, it's almost like we planned it. Almost. So um, I can go ahead and just simply uh, click into each one of these and say uh, tweet recount. And this one's yep. a you know numerical count, right? So yep. I can just yeah. That's why on you only that see one. that because that field was defined when you created the table as being a numeric field. So numeric oh. action or nu numeric type. So. So as I click into these other ones, these others are text fields. Uh, so as I look at them, I want to find tweet text, and I can apply that here. And then pretty, pretty, uh, pretty difficult, is, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, uh, th this is definitely taxing my uh, my mouse skills here uh, and my reading. So I'm going to go ahead and say tweet ID as well. Now this last one, I don't have anything that lines up with that, John. Uh, so what is the search term here? Search term is is. We can, we can search for one uh, item in a particular flow. So in this case, we're searching for future of SharePoint. But we also want to go out and find things like Power BI, SharePoint, uh, Office 365. And we want to use, uh, we want to use our, our Power BI dashboard at the end of the day to be able to slice on those different terms and see what they are. But we have to flag them. Uh, and this is the way we can flag them. So we basically hard code in the value of the, uh, the term we were looking for. The, the original search term doesn't get passed through as a variable from the action, so we just have to hard code it in here, and that works just fine. There you go. So I'm going to call this uh, Future of SharePoint Twitter mm -hmm. uh, Search. And that is what's going to show up as my flow name. And I'm going to create my flow now, and it's going to go off, and you see my little spinny wheel. And while this does that... Uh, 
you know, I, well, it, it's already done. I don't even have any yep. time to say anything else about that, it, John. That's how yeah, quick it, just, it was. Just got to hit that done button. It's going to say, hey, your flow is running, which is good for a flow. Yeah. So I can go back and I can submit that to the gallery if I was interested in doing that. I'm not yep. going to bother at this point. Or I'm going to go into manage here and I'm going to play with this. And now um, I can go in and take a look. It was last modified 17 seconds ago. And I can take a look and see if it's run um, and see if anything has come across. Nothing's come across yet on successes or failures. Uh, but I can also come in here and see about checks. And it skipped a couple of checks along the way here. Um, but what I want to do is I actually want to come back and take a look and see if I have any data that has populated here. So I'm going to execute that. Nothing's come in quite yet. Not yet. Hey, look at that. There is a uh, something that came in. Now you saw oh, that my there goodness. was nothing in the database before. Uh, Who's that guy? Here is a, I'm telling that diver down guy. Um, <laughs> so we, we, we can take a look at the text of the tweet. So there's the text of that tweet. Um, and you know, John has just gone out and successfully tweeted um, yep. And, you know, if I go and take a look at Twitter, I will see that that has happened uh, as well, which is very, very cool that it's, uh, that it's grabbing that stuff. Even before it shows up in my stream, John, uh, it actually has it in my database. There it is. It just popped into yep. my stream. I could pop that over here and so show I, everybody. I, I posted that shortly after you'd clicked done, after it said it was running. So that's how quick the, it gets picked up. That's impressive. I have to say yep. that's really impressive. Um, and I'll just pull this across. Uh, hang on, Twitter, uh, so it's not wanting to come in, there it is. So there's John's tweet, came in a minute ago, it's already been retweeted, that's really funny. Um, and it wasn't by me, uh, by other people, uh, so that, that has already happened. So if I go execute again, it may actually have more tweets in there. Look, somebody already retweeted. Uh, Flowfields underscore has already retweeted. So now I have this in here, um, and it's showing up. And if I come back in and take a look at uh, at this, it may actually show. Nope, still hasn't shown successes on that. That's really funny. It's um, it caches the uh, the runs here too, so you don't always it doesn't show up immediately uh, so. from a logging standpoint. But we know that we actually do have the data. It's showing yep. up. I, I see it in my SQL Azure database, uh, and everything's coming in very nicely. I have my Twitter ID. I've got when it was created and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, so now I have a database of tweets that are coming in, and I can create uh, other stuff along the way here. Um, so I'll go back and, uh, and do one, uh, create a new flow, uh, just because we want to show that, uh, uh, you know, in, in order to do this, uh, I'm going to go in and grab from Twitter. And I'm going to call this uh, SharePoint. And I'm going to use Angry Rambling this time. And I'll add an action. We're going to go ahead and save off to uh, SQL Azure Databases again. Went a little too far that time. Mm. I'm going to insert a row. I'm going to put this into the right table name. Here, pop it up and pump it in. It's already there. So uh, I can come this along and do. Uh, the, the tweet text and the whole nine yards here. I'm going to scroll down. It's almost down. like you've done this before. It is almost like I've done it before. Um, but the, the thing is that this is so quick and easy to be able to do um, that it makes it really nice. It's a, it's a super easy experience. And my search term here, again, is going to be SharePoint. And I'm going to create the SharePoint uh, SQL uh, SQL uh, Azure database Twitter search Beauty. So, and create my flow it's going to be done very quickly and now I'll have two um, things showing up in that one column over here so the search term so now I'll be able to be able to slice and dice some data on that and uh, then I'm going to create one more when I'm done with this uh, which is going to be Office 365 because we want to see uh, that as well so I'll create my flow very quick, scroll all the way down to Twitter, and call this Office 365. And again, I'm going to change back one more time to a different account. I'm going to load more. I'm going to do this in with SQL Azure databases. Nope, not what I wanted. And see, I made a mistake. And it's pretty easy to go back and make the change to uh, to change that. I'm not going to edit a sprock, uh, and I can simply click delete and remove that from the logic flow. Come back in, add an action, and uh, load more. 
go back down to insert a row, grab my table name. And honestly, man, this is so simple and easy to be able to build these things out quickly. Um, I'm, I'm surprised that uh, it's taken us this long to get something this cool. It's, it's, it, it's pretty solid. I've seen attempts at doing this in the past, but this is very, very solid. So it's a nice, easy way to get at something very powerful, the um, SQL Azure database. So Office 365, this is going to be the SQL Azure DB Twitter search. Just because I like naming things something that will be followable later. And now that is going to save my flow. It's going to go off create. And it bounced me right back out. Should be able to take a look. And it didn't finish Bumble. that one off. How fun. We found a little bug. <laughs> We can do that offline. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. So anyway, uh, just to come back and take a look, I can execute this query one more time. Still only have a couple pumping in. But, uh, you know, it is a uh, Sunday night at a uh, rather late hour. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and end this particular video and start up the next one. We'll add that in and uh, be ready to go and show you guys some really cool Power BI desktop stuff. And here comes the fun.